What do a young woman working on her laptop in an airport cafe, vendors in a weekend market, a tourist visiting Iguazu Falls, people waiting for a water taxi, and a train commuter have in common? They're all drinking jerba mate, a caffeinated infusion of green leaves and hot water. Enjoyed by Argentinian football stars and popes alike, Yerba Mate is officially Argentina's national infusion. The plant, Ilex paraguariensis, a type of holly, is native to what's now the border of Paraguay, Argentina, and Brazil. First cultivated by regional indigenous peoples for religious and social purposes, they drank from dried gourds using bamboo straws. Spanish Jesuit priests saw the commercial potential and set up plantations to expand production. Today, Brazil produces the most, followed by Argentina and Paraguay. The Guarani people called the leaf ca'a, meaning herb, so the Spanish just called it jerba. Mate is the cup, which comes from the indigenous Peruvian Quechua language. We traded from 2,000 kilometers away for the leaf. In Argentina, jerba says it all. Modern mate are still made from gourds or wood, even ceramic and metal. The straw is called a bombilla, bombilla in Argentina, with small holes or other end cap to filter the infused water. When we toured Iguazu Falls, we visited the Jerba Mate Club in town to find out about this Argentinian obsession, taste some different Jerba varieties, and hopefully get the full Jerba Mate experience. We sampled a few varieties of Jerba, including a messy branded one. And we got hands-on instruction on how to properly prepare a Jerba Mate Argentine style. Step one, fill the mate with jerba, but only two-thirds full. Step two, cover and shake so the powder rises to the top. But keep it tilted. Step three, Add a little warm water. Step four, add hot water about three quarters full, not boiling, only about 80 degrees Celsius or 175 Fahrenheit. Step five, insert the bombilla and don't move or stir it that's bad manners. Step six, pop up with hot water. Step seven, drink and refill with hot water as needed. Most of the jerbas we tried were strong and earthy, like very strong green tea. But others had peppermint or rose flavoring. There are toppings, too, to sweeten and smooth the taste, and jerba-specific snacks made from cassava and corn. And there's a social aspect to jerba mate, with friends and family passing the mate around. <laughs>